Hi everyone, my name is Igor. Welcome to my workshop. Some time ago, I was chatting in the Elgo Mars Facebook group about some air bubbles that appeared in a couple of my prints. And then somebody suggested a method of removing air bubbles from the resin vat by blasting it quickly with a torch. That didn't really sound safe to me and left me thinking, really, how flammable are 3D printing materials? <clears throat> I mean, obviously they're all plastics and uh, they're all flammable to a certain degree. And, you know, you can set anything on fire if you apply enough heat for long enough. That's not the point, that's not what I'm trying to prove here. I want to compare common 3D printing materials and see how they stand against, you know, a normal gas lighter. So, without any further ado, let's start testing, shall we? Okay, test number one, PTG. All right, so I applied the flame for about 20 seconds and it did not catch fire, so let's continue burning it. Alright, is it burning? No, it's mostly melting. Can I make it burn? Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but yeah, it's it's not really burning. It burns for a few seconds and then it immediately goes out. Yeah, definitely not terribly flammable and hmm. Yeah, well, it smells like, you know, polyethylene, the burning polyethylene, you know, like the stuff that water bottles are made of. So, not really a bad smell. I'm gonna continue. Yeah, it's, it's melting. And it's not even burning. I mean, uh, that's a disappointment. See, it immediately extinguishes the moment I move the flame away. Come on. Come on. Yes? No? Yes? No. It's boiling. Yeah, it smells like, well, nothing special like polyethylene. Uh, okay, I give up. It doesn't burn, it, it melts. Test number two, PLA. Thank you. 
All right, so this one, uh, it's boiling, but is it, yeah, I guess it's burning. Barely though. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely burning. It's, yeah, the flame is really small. I mean, I, I can't even see it. I can only tell that it's burning because the surface is boiling and I can feel the heat. Just, just a little bit, you know. But yeah, it's, see, it's, it's, it's burning. And it looks like, looks like it went out. Yeah. <laughs> Molten plastic. Test number three. Let's see if this one burns. And it's not really burning. No, this one doesn't really burn either. It smells pretty bad though. Let's see if it sustains combustion. Come on, burn. Please. No? No. It, yeah, it smells bad. <laughs> it doesn't burn. It doesn't want to burn. I mean, come on. Really? No, it's not burning. It's melting. Test number four, resin. Please don't disappoint me, okay? Come on, burn. No, yes, no, please. It is getting charred. Is it burning? It may be burning. Ah, it is burning! See, it's, it's the, f the flame is the flame is stable. It's very sooty. I'm not sure if you can see all that soot coming off of it, but yeah.
Whoa, look at this. Only some charred remains. Yeah, it's literally like, oh well. It's carbon. My fingers. Yeah, it's just carbon. Okay, well, I did not expect that at all. Okay, that was somewhat underwhelming, but still, I've got some results. Let's rank the materials by how easily they catch fire and how well they sustain combustion. Number four, TPU. It was unable to catch the lighter's fire at all. Number three, PETG. Took quite a long time to catch a tiny fire. Didn't sustain the fire for longer than a few seconds. Number two, PLA. Not surprisingly, very easily melted and caught fire quite quickly. Sustained fire quite well all the way to the end. Number one, resin. Setting it on fire was no effort. It sustained a very dark and sooty fire and it smelled like pure cancer. What's also interesting, although not surprising since resin is not a thermoplastic material, is that the resin benchy has remained as a charred carcass, which was really light, spongy and fragile. I was able to easily crush it with my fingers. It feels like it's pure carbon. Well, and that's all for today. Please let me know if you liked this video by giving it a like and commenting. Your feedback is always welcome. Feel free to share this video and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, happy tinkering, stay safe, and don't forget to have fun. Bye!